Hey, this is Jason from JSM Repair Solutions. Uh, today we're going to uh, disassemble a Dell Bowstrail 1000. I have already taken all the screws out of the bottom, uh, removed the battery and uh, the uh, cover plates. And the tools we're going to need to use for this is one of the double-sided uh, screwdrivers. Um, if you have uh, the multiple change-out ones, those would be pretty neat too. Uh, to use, they help out a lot, um, especially when you get to the uh, LCD inverter. Um, those usually take a smaller uh, screw head. Uh, but let's go ahead and turn it on so you can see that it works. There you go. Power's right on. Uh, should be in the windows. Um, but that's all we need to do for that. So let's go ahead and get started on this. And what we're going to do first is we're going to take this uh, power button hinge off. So that way we can get to the keyboard. So you just take your flathead screw, pop it up under the uh, right side of the laptop here. Uh, and this should pop right out. Pretty simple. Underneath there, we'll have uh, two screws. Uh, by the looks of it, two screws. Uh, we'll take those out, and now we'll lift out the keyboard. Uh, on this machine, both of the memory uh, ports at the bottom, so uh, there's no memory under the keyboard. Uh, a lot of laptops will have one at the bottom, one at the top. Sorry about that, bumped into the camera. All right, here we go. We'll pop out the keyboard, and there's uh, your keyboard right there. It has a little flip up switch that pops it out. And there's your ribbon cable for the keyboard there. Now, if you actually look um, right here is where the flip up comes. You just flip that up, it pops right out. And you'll have your cable here for right at the bottom uh, for the touchpad. We can go ahead and pull that out. Uh, so next what we're going to do is we're going to take all the screws out for the palm rest. Um, and then we're going to try and get the uh, LCD off. So what we're going to do, let's go ahead and start with the LCD. Um, just because the palm rest um, actually goes up underneath the LCD. Uh, so what will happen is on some laptops you can it won't go under the LCD but on this one there is so we're going to start with that so we're going to go ahead and pull off the Wi-Fi cables they're right here to the Wi-Fi card because so those go up into the LCD for the antennas so we've got those pulled off and then route them through and then you'll have a little power cable right here right next to it pull those out and route those through and then on this other side right here is your uh, video cable wire uh, there's a little blue tab on it and then you'll have a screw for the grounding screw right next to it just unscrew that alright and then route those cables through and now it's off. Uh, on this laptop here, if you turn it around, um, there's actually two screws hidden back here uh, that we're going to go ahead and take out. So take your screw, your flathead screwdriver and pull off the, uh, there's a little piece of plastic that covers the screw up. So once you pull those off, there are two screws there. Um, they're actually screwed into the uh, hinge. So I want to go ahead and take those out. So once you get those out, uh, there's two more screws in the front for the hinge to mount to the palm rest and the rest of the case. And then once we get those out, we should be good to go on pulling it out. 
just be careful when you take these out. Um, as you can see right here at the top, um, that the LC doesn't fall off. Just make sure you hold it when you get that last screw out. Um, unless you want to make sure that it's completely flat. That will help too. Take the other screw out here. Uh, only problem with it being completely flat sometimes, it will actually put pressure on the screw and they're a little difficult to get out. But this one doesn't seem too bad. And then it should just come right off. Just like that. And then we'll uh, we'll take this apart in a, in a later uh, part portion of this video. Let's go ahead and get the rest of this uh, taken apart here. So what we have left for the most part here, uh, you have your power button panel at the top, uh, your palm rest which has a few screws in it, and then um, that will be it for the palm rest portion. So let's go ahead and take the power button panel off. It's got two screws in it. And then make sure we're not missing any screws. Oh, there's one right here next to the power button panel. And I think that's it. Since we undid the cable already, it just pops right out. So there's your, your palm rest and touch pad there. Uh, we have uh, the power button panel. So now we have underneath, we still have the CD-ROM in. We're going to slide that out. A lot of times I take that out beforehand, but uh, forgot about it this time. Uh, so now what we're going to do is we're going to work on the motherboard, the CPU, and the, the heat sink and fan and all that. So we're going to unscrew that. Um, I don't know if you can see that from here. But uh, it has four screws in it to hold. And it's basically the heat sink fan and fan for the CPU and GPU. And they just hold four screws on and should slide right off. Sometimes, if you don't take the fan out first, they don't want to come out. And sometimes, if you don't have the screw all the way out, it doesn't come out either. Let's see. Where are you stuck? There we go. So there you go. There's your, your heat sink. Uh, the fan uh, has two screws, one here and one there. We'll take those out. And then we'll pop out the CPU and then uh, work on the motherboard. Alright, there's your fan. Alright, so we're going to pop the heat, uh, the CPU out. It's, it's got a little flat head screw uh, right there. So you just put your, and what it'll do is it'll release the pins over and then we'll pop it out. That's an AMD, that's why it's got that weird funky looking uh, pin set on there. Alright, so now that we have that out, uh, the next order operation here is going to be your Wi-Fi card. Uh, we didn't pop that out yet. 
A lot of times I pop that out before we get started because um, it's usually on the bottom. So there's your Wi-Fi. Uh, next, what I normally do is I go ahead and take the uh, PCMCIA slot out uh, just because usually for what I do with these, um, they're pretty much useless to me. So I take those out. And then a lot of times they actually part of the screws anyways that hold the motherboard onto the bottom case. So uh, this has actually got the hard drive included also with it um, at the bottom. So it's got the PCMCIA at the top and then the hard drive at the bottom. So we'll just remove this all together. And what we got here. Okay, so there's your PCMCIA slot uh, there. Then your hard drive with Caddy. And then after we get done with that, then we will have one, two, looks like two more screws. And with this one here, we're going to have to get another screwdriver to go along with this because. It actually, some motherboards will have the VGA slots, and sometimes if it has one of the old style parallel printer slots, the uh, the screw that you screw it into, um, the actual cable, will be screwed on the plastic side. Well, actually, this one won't need one. Sometimes you have to pull the plastic. I don't know if you can see it right here where the ports go. So we can slide this out. We still might have to get that. Yeah, we're gonna have to get that screwdriver here. And what you're gonna need is one of these little uh, ratchet screwdrivers. Comes with any uh, regular tool set. Um, for, for laptops and PCs or whatever. And then you have the screw here and here. So just take that off. That should slide right out. Just like that. And now you have your motherboard. Memory slots at the bottom. Right there. Uh, you have your modem right here. Uh, we're not going to take off right now, but we will. Um, on the actual bottom case, you have your speakers right here. Um, and some dust. All right. Uh, so next, what we're going to do is we have our LCD bezel, which we're going to uh, finish removing here. So all the screws are taken out. And what we're going to do to start with is go up on this bottom side here. Make sure the latch is over, and then stick our fingers right up underneath the plastic. I don't know if you can see it. Let's see here. Um, so now, once we get that out, we can kind of start working around the sides. And what I tend to do too is I'll go down to the bottom side and start working the bottom side once I get that up. But what we want to do is try to take away pressure go to the sides and take away pressure from the corners because that's when we'll we'll start to uh, we'll start to break them but they just kind of clamp on pretty easily they come off usually pretty easily so 
Sometimes we don't want to. There we go. Just keep working your way around. Oh, we do have a screw in here. I missed. This one doesn't show like it's got a screw, but it still may. Ah, uh -huh, it does. The actual rubber piece just broke off. That's never seen that before where the rubber footy comes apart. I was wondering why that looked weird before. So now they all the all the screws out just pops right now, right there. Alright. So now uh, when we're looking at the screen here, at the bottom you have your L C D inverter and then uh, just a bunch of screws to hold the rest of it in. So what we're going to do is we're going to start working on the screws. Uh, you've got two right here uh, for the hinge, but that's just going to hold the hinge on. Um, and then you have a bunch of screws on this outside portion here that will show that will uh, release the LCD from the mounting brackets. Put you on hold uh, and pause. Let me get all those screws out here. All right, uh, so I got all the screws out, and uh, there's not that much left to the video here, so we just got to do a little bit. Just pop out right here, just lift up under. We can actually kind of uh, lift up under, it should slide right out. And on the back side here, uh, we have the graphics cable. Uh, that's pretty easy. You have these little tabs right here. And just go ahead and pull those out. And then at the bottom here, there's a little t blue tab. You can pull that out. And there's your graphics cable. Uh, when we flip it over, <coughs> uh, here's your LCD lid, too. Uh, there's nothing more on that that we need. <coughs> you flip it over, there's one little screw for the LCD inverter. Uh, so if you're swapping that out, uh, this is it. You just take the screw out. And then, once we get the screw out, it's going to be just a little bit of glue on the back. So to remove the uh, LCD uh, inverter, what we're going to do is we're going to take the screwdriver and run it along. Uh, let's see if I can show you how to do this. Run it, just run it along the side here. And what it'll do is it'll take apart that glue. Uh, then we'll just pull this piece out from this side here. So you got your cable. And then... Basically, you're going to pull just very carefully. Pop it off. And there's your LCD inverter. Uh, that's all for this video. Um, feel free to visit our website at www.jsmcomputersolutions.com. And thanks for viewing.